And that was former Governor Phil Batt exactly one year ago today on his birthday as all of Idaho's living governors came together to celebrate. And tonight, Idahoans are remembering him and his contributions. Thank you for joining us here on this special edition of the News at 10. I'm Shira Matsuzawa. And Governor Batt passed away this morning on his 96th birthday. Today also marks Idaho Day, the anniversary of Idaho's establishment as a U.S. territory. Jude Binkley joins us now with a look at the former governor's life. Jude. Sure, Governor Batt served as Idaho's 29th governor from 1995 to 1999. And during his political career, he also served as a legislator, lieutenant governor, and Idaho Republican Party chairman. Throughout his life, Governor Batt had a reputation of being a champion of human rights. He was one of the most unique people in Idaho politics. Uh, he was, in my opinion, one of the most ethical people in Idaho politics. He uh, was a straight talker. He, uh, he told you exactly what he thought. Rod Grammer is the author of Lucky, the wit and wisdom of Governor Phil Batt. He spent years covering Governor Batt and his contributions to Idaho. I think his greatest le legacy is his record on human rights. During his time as a political leader, Governor Batt sponsored the creation of the Idaho Human Rights Some, Council. Uh, he uh, voted for uh, the Equal that. Rights Amendment for women. Uh, Idaho was one of the first states, believe it or not, that ratified that. He negotiated with the federal government to remove nuclear waste from eastern Idaho. He uh, fought for the rights of farm workers, even though he was a farmer, and lost a lot of friends uh, fighting for rights for farm workers. Um, he was just an incredible uh, human being, really. Kramer says Governor Batt's legacy is one that Idahoans will remember fondly. He was a very popular governor. He, uh, he could have easily been reelected to a second term if he had chosen to. Um, I think they recognize his honesty, his integrity, his uh, respect for the dignity of all people. Uh, but he also had a tremendous sense of humor. Uh, he used to have a bird in his office when he was Senate leader uh, that he taught to talk. And um, Cecil Landris, a Democrat who was governor at the time, was one of his best friends. And he taught the bird to say, Cecil is silly. Outside of his sense of humor, Governor Batt was also a jazz clarinet player, a writer, and a mentor to many political leaders. On Saturday, Governor Brad Little ordered flags to be lowered in honor of Governor Batt. In a statement, Governor Little said in part, Governor Phil Batt was the epitome of a public servant, having served as governor, lieutenant governor, and senator. His legacy is distinguished by his unrelenting human rights leadership, determined fiscal conservatism, and enduring love of Idaho. Lieutenant Governor Scott Bedke also issued a statement which said, A man of fairness and decency, Governor Batts served our community with a commitment to protect our lands, fight for human rights, and ensure fiscal responsibility. To honor his legacy, the Wasmuth Center for Human Rights New Education Center will be housed in the Philip E. Batt Building. He was the leader of human rights in the state of Idaho, especially politically. Um, and I think that honor of being, uh, having the building named after him at the Wasman Center is, is a tremendous honor and one that he richly deserves. Governor Batt's body will lie in state at the Capitol and flags will remain lowered until he's laid to rest, which will be announced at a later date. Details on how the public can pay respects will be provided from the governor's office. Yeah, he definitely leaves quite the legacy here in Idaho. All right, thanks, Jude. And more reaction is pouring in tonight. Senator Jim Risch, who is also a former governor, released this statement, which read in part, Phil Batt was a close personal friend to both Vicki and me and one of my earliest mentors in the state Senate. And he was a titan in Idaho politics and cared deeply about our great state. He went on to say Phil set the course and is responsible for the Idaho we know and love today. Senator Mike Crapo also released a statement saying in part, Idaho Governor Phil Batt will be remembered as a strong and thoughtful leader dedicated to the people of Idaho and advancing human rights in the state. His long-standing friendship and mentorship to me helped guide my professional and personal life. And you can read these statements in their entirety at KTV.com. We'll also have more reaction throughout this newscast.